Hello, it's Missy Gordon, the Metamystic here. We are in a different location, as you can see. We're not in the studio. We're not doing the whole shebang with the audience. and It's just us this time. Because I have something that I need to share today. And it's a story about my friend Bear. And um, I wanted to come outside. I wanted to be where Bear is so that we can understand who Bear is and what Bear is about. So if you are struggling with something right now and you feel like you're using the phrase in any way, This is too much to bear. I think my friend Bear can help. So let's get started. Bear by Missy Gordon. Too much to bear. Too much to bear. Bear can help. Bear knows when to pull back and when to attack. Bear is a fierce protector and lover, just the same. Bear knows boundaries and practices slowness, presence, and patience. Bear is a healer and carrier of medicine. Bear bears burdens. I was anxiously shuffling back and forth between sleep and awareness when Bear came to me. And if you would like to read this straight through, if you'd like to get a copy of this and see this with your own eyes, you can go to my substack at missygordon.substack.com. I will also be releasing an episode with me reading this all the way through, just straight through without any of my crazy commentary because we know with my Gemini midheaven I I get talking so I was anxiously shuffling back and forth between sleep and awareness when bear came to me too much to bear bear asked that old phrase God will never give you more than you can bear came to mind Just when the burden was becoming too heavy, as promised, Bear arrived right on time. Need a hand? Bear asked gently, winter hibernation still present behind the eyes. I fell back to sleep before I could answer, exhausted from the disarray. And when I woke up, Bear was there to greet me. You're patient, aren't you, Bear? And Bear just looked at me warmly with eyes of love. Bear followed me around all day, but I found no burden for Bear to bear. Everything was seemingly in order. The bookshelf seemed fine. The couch didn't need to be moved. Maybe later I will find a burden for Bear to carry. Night fell, and still, Bear stood quietly by my side like a protector. I rested my head on Bear's warm fur and looked up into the dense, shimmering stars. It's going to be okay, isn't it, Bear? But again, Bear said nothing. As I drifted off to sleep, I felt peace. I didn't feel scared anymore. I woke up the next day feeling refreshed. But Bear was still asleep. Bear, it's time to wake up. I made breakfast. As I shook Bear... A red cardinal landed on my windowsill and chirped this poem aloud. Bears bear burdens. 
That's why they sleep. Bears bear burdens, so souls no longer weep. Bear bore your burdens, so now bear must sleep. When will bear wake up again? When bear is needed, bear will wake, the red bird said, flying swiftly out of view through the knotted tree branches into the sun. As I watched bird fly away, I admired the spring flowers freshly blooming. My soul felt at peace and so did the world around me. I realized bear came to bear my emotional burdens, not my physical ones. But even so, my chest felt a whole lot lighter. Thank you, Bear, I said, as I exhaled a breath of gratitude into the golden April sun. Yesterday, I created this piece of, well, it's watercolor mixed with marker and pen. (laughs) So it's mixed media, but regardless, hopefully you can see it. I'll try to, uh, I'll scan it in and I'll, I'll show you an image of it, a better image. But I created this and I called it Bear. Because, you know, that actually did happen. Where I was, I was like half asleep and... It was like the spirit of Bear came to me and honestly asked me, like I wrote here, like, do you need help? I can help you bear some of this. And I kind of fell back asleep, you know. I see animal totems from time to time, but this this kept, like, knocking And when I woke up, it was still present. And I know a little bit about the bear spirit. And, um, but I I did a few hours of research just to, to glean more about what bear means and the traditions surrounding bear. And I've been really struggling. And that's why I decided to to put this out as like a life raft to anybody else who feels the same way. Like if you're going through something that feels um, like it's too much to bear, bear is here to help. And even if you don't believe in animal spirits and things like this, it's the concept, you know. I've always been very closely related to nature and have always found myself again when I enter nature. And more than ever, these animals have been coming to me to offer me something. And Bear has been here for me through a very difficult time. And so I wanted to to share about that today. And... um offer a hand and say you're never gonna be left fully alone to to bear something that's too heavy to bear there have been so many times in my life that I have truly felt like this is too much to bear I have felt like that quite a few times Um, And I've struggled since I was a child on many different things. And it always felt like no matter how much I tried to connect with other people, I always just felt alone. Um, And I've been doing a lot of healing work 
as always, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm always doing healing work. I'm always working on myself, right? Like, can I get an amen to some, like, do you guys feel like you're always just working on yourself, working on yourself? I saw something from Mark Manson the other day. And I was just like, rock on, brother. You know what I mean? Like, I love Mark Manson. Like, I'm a huge fan of Mark Manson and, and his work. And uh, he even jokes about the fact that he wrote a self-help book, you know? And then I heard Christina Lopes the other day talk about a similar thing on YouTube. I love Christina Lopes as well. Gained a lot from her. Um she talked about how, like, we're always healing, 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 always going to the next form of healing. When will the work ever be done? You know, we're never going to be perfect, but it's like, when are we actually going to start to live? You know? Like, I am somebody who really believes in all this stuff, really. Like, I have, I have been working on myself for many years. So I'm not saying that I don't believe in it. I literally just spent an hour listening to Kyle Cease's podcast, and it was very transformational. Um, he was talking to a woman, and he was just guiding her through all of these different traumas that she, it seemed like she didn't even realize she had. Um, I'll link it down below. It was very powerful. She was talking about her daughter and how she felt like, Basically, to sum up the episode, what I got from it is this woman was struggling with the fact that she feels like when other people are in the room, she disappears. And I have struggled with that since my entire life. Um, you know, and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. I'm sure many of you are empaths, but you know, empaths and narcissists usually go together because empaths are like I'll disappear everything about you matters and the narcissist is like you disappear everything about me matters it's it's my my needs my desires my wants and the empath is like I'm here to to serve you I'm here to to make peace I'm here to you know create a safe space for, for everybody and you know what this may be controversial, but I believe they're both equally as toxic. They're both dynamics. They're both roles. And I didn't think I was going to talk about any of this today. Um, but this is part of, this is a perfect example. This is like part of like the healing work that I've been doing. And it all connects all of this stuff connects, especially when we go through some sort of a shocking moment or um, a trauma, like traumas resurface when we're going through hard times. So it's good to actually take a second. And that was kind of the point of Kyle's podcast is like, it's a gold mind, mine, <laughs> mind, gold mind, I guess it makes your mind gold. But it's a, it's literally like the best time to allow for yourself to actually heal for real and not just talk about all this like self-help hashtag mumbo jumbo that most of us are always just regurgitating and then we just stay in our crap he basically was implying that like those moments of silence where we feel like we just want to run away that's the actual moment of true healing like that's our true opportunity and in the podcast this woman was talking about the fact that she loved her daughter so much and she's just sitting there playing with her and she just wants to run away because she felt trapped. She felt controlled. And I identified, I don't have children, but I identified with her point of feeling like, and let me know if you guys feel this way as well, that when you are around other people, it's like, it's either you or them. Like you, I feel like it's either me or the person that I'm sitting in front of. I have to completely disappear. All of my wants, all of my needs, I'm not in my own frame. And I've been working on this heavily. I, I would say for the past two years specifically, I've been working very heavily on that specific thing. 
And so I'm here to say that all of these things connect. Like if you start working on one thing, it's kind of like pulling a string out of a sweater. The whole thing starts to unravel and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I was trying to heal something and now my entire life is in shambles and now I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. It's like, no, you're not fucked. Okay. You're, you're present for the first time in your freaking life is probably what it is. And that is more scary than continuing to live in in hell. It's it's in my opinion it is easier to live in hell because it's your hell, you know? You are used to it. It is comfortable to a degree, you know, you have your little corner, you know, with your little ragged doll and all the flames are are burning around you and it's like, "Oh, you know, it's a it's kind of nice and warm in here, actually. You know, everybody's screaming all the time, but, eh, well, you know, at least I have my own little cubby over here, my little corner. Oh, well, you know, at least I have this. This It's kind of like a warm, crackling fire, isn't it? It's not. Wake up. It's hell. You got to get out of there. Wake up, kids. It's time to wake up. It's time for us to really heal and not just spiritually bypass and and just read the next self-help book and I am completely guilty of this and that's what Mark Manson was talking about Christina Lopes talked about this Kyle Cease talks about it all all the damn time this is why I love Kyle Cease because that's literally what he does and yet it's like he exposes the very thing that he does consistently and I just I appreciate that because I'm sick of this constant cycle of like healing, 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 healing. It's like, when are we healed? When are we healed? When can I actually live my life? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Missy, I'm, I'm just, I'm just so this, I'm just so that. I know. So am I. I'm literally sitting here right now recording this video and I, Scout Donner, feel like my entire life is in shambles. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to lie about that. And that's why I do things like I just did. That's why I write stories. That's why I create pieces of art. Oh, I'm selling this, by the way. Uh, I'm going to post this in my Etsy shop for sale. So if you want to support the show, if this story has resonated with you, um, you can purchase this, this bear, if you want to support the show that way. We also have merch here. So please support the show. Thank you. But this is real for me. Do you know what I'm saying? I know I have gone through such hard things in my life. The fact that I'm even sitting here is a miracle. The fact that I will repeat that again. The fact that I'm even sitting here is a miracle, okay? There is nothing more powerful than when you are in the midst of absolute chaos. Like, people could be screaming all around you right now. People could be texting you, calling you, or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're completely alone and isolated and you feel like nobody cares and nobody loves you either extreme or somewhere in the middle, doesn't matter. Same thing applies. Being where you are right now, literally right now, as you are listening to the sound of my voice, that's what's true, right? I don't, I don't care what anybody tries to say. The only thing that exists is right this second. And you know, well, what are you going to do? Just uh just just avoid reality, just spiritual bypassing. You're just going to just just going to avoid reality. You know what? It's not avoiding reality. It's actually embracing reality. It's the opposite of what people are implying by saying that what you're just going to be blissed out <laughs> better than whatever the hell you're doing. I, I don't I don't know. It's it's the opposite. This is my point. If you are in the present moment right now 
and you are allowing the reality to wash over your being and you just take a second to exist without all of this bullshit, without all of this societal programming, without, oh, oh, I gotta pay my bills. Oh, all these people are relying on me. Oh, I'm not saying we put our responsibilities aside. I'm not saying we don't pay bills. I'm not saying, you know what, I'm, what I mean? Just let's just take a second. Because actually, all of that stuff is the fake part is my what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, but you got to pay bills and you got to do this and you got to do that. I'm not saying you don't have to do those things. What I'm saying is the fear of those things is the actual problem. You know what I'm saying? It, it even if you don't have a job, you know, anybody, literally anybody, I I'm pretty sure even if you don't have a car, you can sign up for like I'm not sponsored. I should be because I do so much freaking work for these people. DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, whatever. You literally, even if you're like, yeah, but I don't have a job. I can't pay bills. You can literally sign up for a side gig like that and pay your bill. The problem is not paying the bill. The problem is the obsessive, fearful, anxious, torturous thoughts. That is the real demon. It's not the bills. It's not the people. Oh, but my husband or, oh, but my, it's not the people. It's us. And that is the hardest thing to really accept is that no matter what your parents did to you, no matter what your ex did to you, no matter what conditioning, what society, did, oh, it's the schools, oh, it's 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 the money system, oh, it's the economy, oh, it's the it's the the evil uh, uh, reptilians. It's like, okay, you know what? Why don't we just take a second? Let's actually take a second to shout out winningpond.com, winningpond.com. Take a second to shout out Chris Reck. Thank you. Winningpond.com is a wonderful spiritual newsletter that you can gain access to. An entire community of people who believe in the, for the most part, the things that we're talking about today. So if you'd like to join, even if you don't like tarot, there's there's other things on this newsletter that you will enjoy, right? So subscribe to the winningpond.com newsletter. Thank you. Also check out Chris Reck channel as well as middle pond tarot if you are interested in tarot also check out my tarot channel hell at the metamystic but anyways what was i saying <laughs> it just like it sucks my soul back out to do you know anyways <laughs> i love chris though <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying it's like Getting to that space inside of myself, it feels like entering into like the womb of the universe where all of this other stuff is made up. We're all aliens. This is all fake. This is the fucking matrix. You know, this it's like even the matrix analogy is the matrix. The matrix analogy is a matrix. The matrix. <laughs> it's all the fucking matrix. I'm sorry I keep swearing. I'm just saying, okay. We need, and I did not think I was going to take, this is supposed to be a comforting podcast, right, Missy? But I always got to go this direction, don't I? Because this is the way I feel like you have, and everybody is not as extreme as me, right? But I'm talking to people who deal with, with a challenger. And I talked about that on last week's podcast. It's called Unrecognizable. If you missed it, go listen to it because I talked about this concept of the challenger, that there's a challenger within us all that is constantly challenging us, right? I deal with a literal like challenger every day that if I do not consistently work to overcome it, it will overtake me like a weight. And I know that not everybody lives with that extreme of like, a mind as me, I understand that. But for those of you who do, this is that smack of reality that sometimes we need. And sometimes these like 
love and light, but these like self-help journeys and even spiritual coaches and things like that, not calling anybody out. I love it all. I love everybody. I'm just saying it's like sometimes some of that is not strong enough or intense enough to like shock the shit out of my heart. So for me, I have to be like, come back to reality. Even if you were in abusive relationships, even if you had traumatic events from your childhood, even even if, even if, even if, you're still you in this present moment taking full responsibility for my life in this very second that it's actually empowering. It's not disempowering. It's not saying that your your struggles don't matter. It's not me saying that your traumas don't matter. It's actually the exact opposite. It's saying they matter so much. I'm, I'm saying you matter so much. It's more you matter so much. They don't matter. You matter so much. You are so powerful that I think it actually does us a disservice to stroke the arm of the challenger. We need to stroke our own arm, damn it. Not, not that challenger that wants to keep us victims because if I let that challenger overtake me, If I allowed myself to become a victim, I do not think I would be sitting here right now. It is that extreme for me. I have had to literally take control of my life to such a degree that I truly feel like it would scare some people. The level of energy that I've had to channel to overcome certain things. And I know that there are others out there that know what I'm talking about right? Taking responsibility is the most empowering thing you can possibly do. You know why? Because that means no matter who's there, no matter what happened, no matter what is around you or what was in your past or what's in the present or what's even in the future, it doesn't matter because you have the power to overcome anything that ever comes your way from this moment forward. And you can even go back into your past and change the way that you reacted to things like hypnotherapy. You can do this on yourself. And go back and and think about a traumatic memory and think about with what you know now how you would have reacted. Take power and control over your life. No one can overpower you. You are the boss. You're in control. If you'd like to support the show, you can purchase merch on my Etsy shop, etsy.com slash shop slash the metamistic. Links down below. Again, I am offering this artwork for sale as well as my Missy Gordon reading her essays, metamistic show, merch, shirts, and mug. We'll be adding more stuff to the shop as we go. Whatever I come up with next, basically. (laughs) So here's my point. I had to balance out this concept of you are held by the universe with this story of Bear. You are not alone. And even if you literally are alone and isolated and like don't have any friends because you've had a spiritual awakening and everybody thinks you're crazy, right? And your family's basically like, you're the devil, you know? And you're all alone. Even if that's the case, we have spirits here to help us. We are tapped into, or we can tap into, the higher realms, which is the real reality anyway. Okay, so we have Bear present. We have our guides. We have our angels. We have the collective consciousness that we can tap into at all times. And as we continue to raise our vibration, we will then connect with other people who are at that level. With that said, there there are ways that we can rest in the fact that our burdens are held that is the point of my story you know that that's literally 
the poem that I wrote here, bears bear burdens, that's why they sleep, bears bear burdens, so souls no longer weep, bear bore your burden, so now bear must sleep, I do believe in that, and that's why I wrote this today, is because at the moment where we, we just can't bear something that we're going through any longer, or if we just can't even bear life anymore, it's like the second we fall, that's when we're caught. You're, you're, you're held by the universe. But I also have to balance it out with the other side of it because it is a responsibility that I truly believe each and every one of us, if we want to be powerful, if we want to have the life that we desire, we need to take responsibility. And this was one of the hardest things. I'm still learning this now. Because it feels like, it feels like drowning, you know? But this is the thing. It, that's an illusion. Because those are the programs. We can overcome those programs. And it's not, it's not really even about self-development work. Oh, I know, I know, get, you know, come get me. It's literally about just that quiet moment in the shower where you're just like, whatever. You know what? All this stuff is coming in my mind. I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like everything I do sucks. You know, I, I'm struggling with this. I need money. Nobody's here to support me. It's like with all that said, because all those thoughts go through my mind every single day when I wake up and every that's why I do affirmations when I'm in the shower, first of all. Second of all, it's that moment. It's just that quiet moment. It's not anything crazy. It's not with, with, you know, loud music behind you with the swelling orchestra and like, oh, you're so brave. You're so amazing. It's literally just like you're like scrubbing your arm and you're just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go out forward with my day and I'm going to choose to believe that I do matter, that I am worth something. That even though I was shown the opposite in all of these different ways, I am choosing to, even if it's today is day one, even if it's today, today's day one of me believing I'm worth something, that I'm going to achieve the things I want to achieve, that I'm going to have the life that I want to have. Day one. Even if it's day a million, every day is a day one, right? Right? So even if you have to, well, I don't want to do that every day. I don't want to do that every day. I do it every day. And you know, a lot of people do it every day. Every successful person's book that I've ever read, every successful podcast I've ever listened to always talks about all of these things, right? I even saw, speaking of Mark Manson, I mentioned him before, I saw on his Facebook, he posted something like, or his staff, you know, posted something like, um, nobody has it figured out, you know? It's it's people that are even in the places that we want to go, because like, that's where I want to go, is where Mark Manson is. He doesn't even know what the hell he's doing. And I look up to Mark, so it's kind of just like, you got to do this stuff and reinforce and reinforce and reinforce and reinforce and reinforce and reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. It's like it's that's life. Well, I don't want that to be life. OK, well, then numb out. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because, you know, that is just for me, that's not OK. I've struggled with addictions in the past, Right. I've struggled with all sorts of things to numb the pain. It got me nowhere, but in a way, way, way worse position down the line. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Well, that's not very encouraging. I'm not trying to be encouraging or discouraging. I'm just trying to offer straight facts. <laughs> okay? There's two sides of things. Well, there's a thousand sides. But the two sides we're talking about today is that on one hand, you are held. Your burdens are being held for you. You are not alone. On the other side, just equally as powerful as the side we just mentioned, you are responsible for your own life. You make your own reality. 
right? You have the power to overcome anything, any obstacle, anything you set your mind to do, you can accomplish. I'm not going to sit here and, and stroke the arm of the challenger, stroke the arm of the victim. Because if I did that to myself, I don't know about anybody else, but I would not be sitting here right now, like I said. So, that's what I have to offer you today. I feel like it's balanced. It's fair. It's both sides. You are held as well as it's your responsibility. And a step further, right? This is one of the thousand other options of of where things are going. You're held. It's also your responsibility. But there are also other people that we can join with right? Like this is not just a spiritual thing. There's actually real people in the world that we can connect with. That's what, that's what I want to do. I want to connect with as many people as possible. I want to really do something. I want to build something important. I was a minister for 10 years. I thought that that was my mission in life is to get as many people saved as possible. Bless God. And you know what? I am glad that that is not true because it was, it was secluding it was a very secluding life. It was a very, I didn't, I never liked that feeling where it was like we have the truth and I'm telling you the truth and you need to convert to the truth. I never felt like that was fully true in my heart. So I'm free from that. I'm thankful for that, right? And it's taken me since 2021 to even be like in reality, because that was so such a traumatic hit to my system to have those traditional beliefs challenged that I have believed since I was in the womb. Since I was in my mother's womb, I was a minister, basically. Okay, so my entire world was rocked. My, the way I saw the world, the way I saw people, the way I saw myself completely changed, right? Took me a couple years to come back around, and now here I am again, back out in the field, And I'm building something new. Same mission at the heart of it, at the core of it. Thank you for being here, everyone. If you would like to support the show, you can purchase the items that I have listed in my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash the metamystic. Like I said, you can purchase this here bear artwork that I've done if you like this story. You can also go to my sub stack if you want to feast your eyes on this at missygordon.substack.com. I will also be posting an episode of me just reading this directly through. But I really wanted to just take a few minutes and um, kind of add the other side, you know, because it's not just one or the other. It's both and, right? Um, and I feel like sometimes we get caught in that lull of like being held by these spiritual teachers who we look up to as masters. And you know, I am very sensitive to that because of where I came from. So what you know, I've come out of religion. So for me, when I see, you know, even people looking too much to like Kyle sees, for example, and I love you, Kyle. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just using you as an example, Kyle, because I love you. I'm just saying it's like, okay, but Kyle sees is just a guy though, right? An amazing guy, but just a guy with like a real life and he is giving his life to the cause. So you know, I salute you, Kyle. I'm just saying it's like, but Kyle's not in your bed with you. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But Kyle's not like in your life with you. Like Kyle, you can't bring Kyle with you to the grocery store, right? You, you can't bring Kyle with you to couples counseling. It's like Kyle can help you. Kyle can instruct you. Kyle can inspire you. But at the end of the day, you can't nurse at the guy's tit. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Well, hi, I'm to that. You can't, you can't nurse. I'm just, I'm just picturing, <laughs> just picturing the imagery, Kyle. Okay. All right. 
My point is, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of us spiritual folk get stuck in that being lulled to sleep in the, the spiritual mush, right? And then the second the YouTube video ends, we're like, what the fuck do we do? It's like, did you listen? Did you apply? Did you do the work, you know? And I'm, I'm not trying to be, you know, I know I get intense, everybody. <laughs> this is just me. This is just my personality, okay? I promise I'm actually a nice person, okay? <laughs> I just get intense when there's people's lives involved, okay? As well as my own, because I'm trying to share what actually helped me. Because I was, you know, unhelpable is how I felt. So, and I tried everything. I tried therapists. I tried, I tried everything, 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 everything. I feel like it's a balance is my point, right? Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to wake up every morning you're the one who needs to live your life. And we have many amazing people we can learn from, right? But at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, or the middle of the day, or the lull when you're driving home from work, it's you in that car, by yourself, faced with yourself, and your mind, right? And we need to know what do we do with that, right? So it's been Missy Gordon, the Metamistic here. Thank you all. Remember to subscribe and like and share if you dare. <laughs> and um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, it is my heart and my mission to build a community and to be able to share with each other and support each other and to change this planet to, you know, my, my elevator pitch, like my summation, my mission statement for what I'm doing is to advance the planet, to, the word advance, to advance the planet, others, and myself. That is my mission is to bring advancement, right? It's a little bit different than change. I want people to get better, right? I want people to feel empowered. I want things to advance, and I want to be part of that advancement myself and be changing myself every day, every day. So I love you guys, and um, I truly do send you from my heart, any comfort I have to give you and hope that the story about Bear can be a comfort to you as well as my other advice because I truly do believe it's a balance. And um, you can, you can, I could just stop on that, just you can, period. You can. You can. You can live this life. You can achieve the things you want to achieve. It's just a matter of waking up every single day. Every day is day one. And you just do it every day again and again and again. You can achieve anything. I truly believe that. Cheers to that. Okay, bye my merch, thank you. And also seriously, I would love for I would love for you guys to purchase this as well. Um I literally just you know, I, I put away and we're gonna end on this. I know I know I'd be talking, but I kind of put away my paints for a while and, and kind of was just like things have been so hard the last couple years that it's like I haven't even wanted to do stuff like this. Like, I used to do stuff like this all the time. And so I'm getting back to it. 
And so let this be an inspiration to you as well. If you've put something aside for a while, like if you're an artist or a singer or anything, you know, if, if there's a book you want to read and you haven't read it, you know, because it's collecting dust in the corner, like let this be an inspiration to you that it doesn't matter how if it's been two years, like you can always pick up right where you left off. All right, my friends, I will see you on the next episode. Remember, you can also get this podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, as well as on my YouTube channel where you can watch it at youtube.com slash at The Metamistic Show. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Yeah, hell, let's let's do the applause on the way out. Oh, let's give myself a little boost of confidence. Let's let's clap for Missy. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.